Well, hello, hello. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something that's a bit of a hobby of mine. Um, I'm, I, I really love music and I love uh, stereo gear and that's what I'm going to talk about today. I have four speakers. We're going to do a bit of a speaker shootout. Um, I'm actually going to be playing some music and hopefully uh, the YouTube uh, copyright police don't uh, censor it for it. But first, um, I don't want to talk about specs or prices. I'm just going to list that later on. Um, I'm going to start out with the NHTs. This is where it all started. I remember when I was in uh, college back in 92 and I went to the Hi-Fi store and I listened to these NHTs and I was completely blown away. I said, oh my God, these are incredible. I got to have these. So this is... And they sounded amazing. Uh, I think they had, they may have had a subwoofer hooked up to it, but uh, it was so clear and so, uh, yeah, just uh, unbelievable. I never heard anything so clear in my entire life. So I said, when I get it, when I get old enough, I'm gonna and I get some money, I'm gonna buy these speakers. So these, uh, I guess you know, it's a four-inch driver. This tweeter is amazing. This could actually be a better tweeter than any of these other speakers, except for maybe this one. But it just sounds amazing. If you're listening, if you want to, if you listen to mostly classical jazz or blues, this is a really good speaker. Um, as far as impact goes, the speaker kind of comes up short. It sounds really thin and the mids aren't great. This is the older NHD Super Zero, by the way. It's um, it's a little bit different from the newer Super Zero. The newer one has an upgraded crossover, so the sounds are a little smoother. Uh, the problem with the newer one is that the uh, the tweeter in there only goes up to 20,000 hertz. This one goes up to 25,000 hertz. This tweeter is a little bit better. Um, and the construction of this one is a little bit better. This one's bolstered a little more, and the other one is like, yeah, it's not, uh, as well braced. So this one's built a little bit better. Uh, you got the little binding post on there. So uh, This is the speaker that I'm using for every day, the Emotiva B1 Plus. This one has, what is that, a four or five, five, I guess a five inch woofer and a ribbon tweeter, a one inch ribbon tweeter. It's got the port on the back. Um, I kind of wish the port was on the front as far as the back. Um, these two speakers are front ported and I've given uh, where I'm putting the speaker, I'm finding that these speakers uh, are easier to place and they tend, they sound a little bit better. This one is a little, was a little boomy when I first set it up and I had to pull it away from the wall a little bit. So I actually really wish that this one was front ported. But anyways, this one has nice binding posts and um, this speaker is just incredible. It's got the ribbon tweeter and the woofer on here is amazing. The, the vocals on this thing are just incredible. I mean, there's no, this this speaker is like, it's on $250 from Emotiva right now, but it's it just feels like it's too easy. Like, I feel like I'm cheating. Like, you know, you ever, you ever cheat on a test? Well, I, I, I mean, if you, if you ever have, you. Buying a speaker like this, it feels like you're cheating. Like, like this is too good. It can't be this easy, you know. Two hundred fifty dollars, you got, you know, a speaker that can do everything, basically. So that's how I feel about this speaker. It's just, it's like, you gotta be kidding me. It's just, it's so good. Uh, the new Mi B5, BS5. Uh, this is a very nice speaker. This one is kind of like this one, only it's like lesser in every category. So like. You know, it's got a nice tweeter, a nice woofer, but it's just not quite as good as this tweeter or this woofer. Um, I love the fact that it's got the, the ports on the front. It's got nice binding posts on the back. It's well braced, well constructed. It's got the vinyl wrap just like this one and this one. This is a piano gloss finish. Um, yeah, this speaker is just a good all-round speaker. It's also really cheap. It's $109 right now, so. This speaker is a good one. This one I currently have in my bedroom. 
Uh, the app's coming soon, but this is a really good all-round speaker for if you don't have much money. I highly recommend this one. This is a really good speaker for the money. It's just, I mean, if you can afford the $250 for this one, get this one. But if not, this is actually not bad if you're just buying a speaker for like the garage or like surround speakers or something. This is really good. This is ELAC debut 5.2s. And um, this is very nice. Uh, I was very curious because I watch a lot of videos from Cheap Audio Man. And he said this was the best under $200. It's actually $229 right now. That's what I got it for on Amazon. And it's got the five inch woofer and the, I'm, I'm not sure how big that tweeter is. It looks, looks like it's about an inch. It's got the nice pining post. And it's built, built well. I think this is uh, one of Andrew Jones's uh, concoctions. But this one sounds very good. Um, I can see why Cheap Audio Man says this is the best speaker under $200. This speaker is uh, leans on the warm side and he likes, he likes warm. This is the kind of speaker you can just put on and just listen to for hours on end and you won't really find yourself really lacking for much. It's, it's, a really, it's, it's that good of a speaker. Um, comparing this one with this one, I prefer this one because this one feels a lot more airy. I think this ribbon tweeter really just just owns <laughs> this, this tweeter. <laughs> I, I, and, and I also think that um, the mids on this one are actually, I, I prefer them more this one, even though these, the mids on this one are more forward. This entire speaker is more forward. If you're looking for a great 2.0 or 2.1 system, this speaker is really, really good for uh, movies because of the vocals. This one has really good vocals. Uh, this one is more warmer, more laid back. And this one has better bass than this one, actually. I, I actually think the woofer sounds better on this one. This, this one is actually better for rock music. Um, the Elacs are better. They just have more impact, and I think part of the reason why is because they're bigger. So yeah, um, I'm probably gonna wind up returning the Elacs. They're just, it's too similar to the Emotivas, not only in price, but in terms of performance as well. Uh, they're all pretty small. They're all, none of these really have any problems fitting on my speaker stands. Today, the sound test is going to be done on a Rotel uh, 1062 uh, integrated amplifier. Uh, and I've got a shit um, D8 a DAC. It's, uh, yeah, one of their, with a $99 model. I can't remember what it is right now, but. Uh, it's a really good DAC, and I'm running my TV through the optical port into the shit, which is in turn is being hooked up to the Rotel. So yeah, that's a uh, that's it. <laughs>